guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. For today's video, I have this eye makeup tutorial. I wanted to do something bright before going into the really like dark colors for fall. And I really, really like how this look um, turned out. I really, really like the green. Um, I kind of switched in between palettes because it was getting a little bit patchy and I just couldn't blend uh, really, really well. But yeah, before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe and the little button down there. And let's get started. So I'm just going to use my concealer to uh, prime my eyelids. And this is the Shape Tape in the color Light Sand. And I finally got a new one. Um, I got a shade lighter because the other one, I wanted a little bit more of a highlight under my eye. I'm gonna just set that um, concealer with a vanilla shade. I'm just gonna take a um, transition color and I'm gonna take this one right here and just apply it on my crease just so we have a nice transition color. like the idea that I have in mind I want to do kind of like a halo eye where my corners and my inner corners and outer corners are a little bit darker than uh, my limit the middle of my lid to start off I'm going to take this shade right here and apply it on my outer corner and on my crease and inner corner. And then with the same brush, uh, I'm just gonna keep using the same brush for my green colors. I'm gonna take the one that's um, above it, which is this one right here. And again, we're gonna go on top of this green. And lastly, I'm going to take um, this green right here. I want a more of a darker green, so let me see. I found my 252 Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette by Coastal Scents. I've had this, this was one of my first palettes ever, um, and I love that Raw Beauty Christie. Um, she like raved about that palette. It's an amazing palette. Um, it has so many colors. I pulled the green side, and I'm trying to decide where I think I'm gonna go with this like uh, tree green um, with a combination so I'm gonna take this one right here and then which is like a really pretty green and then I'm gonna combine it with this darker green yeah I think that's gonna be like a good combo so I'm gonna start with the first lighter green and the pigmentation on this eyeshadows is unreal this shadow palette uh, is a little bit old, but I think I paid like 20 bucks for all those shadows. Yeah, so the pigmentation on this one is amazing. Like, this is the green where, like, the green that I wanted. And now I'm going to take that darker green and I'm going to change brushes. I'm going to use. Um, this one M513. The other brush that I use throughout this um, sh uh, throughout this shadows is a Sigma Blending E25. So I'm changing for the Morphe M513, uh, 513, and I'm just applying that darker green.
And I'm going to go to my uh, transition color right here. And I'm going to apply that to my crease just to blend everything. M433. For the middle of my lid, I'm going to take... This is the Kathleen uh, Morphe um, and Kathleen Lights uh, collab eyeshadow palette. Um, it's pretty beaten up. It was one of my favorite shadows. Um, I actually want to film like a fall tutorial with like um, these shadows right here. So I'm going to take this green. It's so pretty. And that's going to go on my lid. So I'm going to just clean this because I'm going to make a mess. So I'm just going to take my finger and apply it to the center of my lid. a lot of fallout um i'm going to take a little bit on a morphe m167 i'm going to take uh, from that same um 252 palette i'm going to take this green in this corner right here and with that same uh, E25, I'm just going to apply that on my outer crease and on my inner crease. For liner, I'm going to take the NYX Epic Ink Liner and I'm going to just do a wing. So I'm going to apply my lashes and my mascara and I'm going to be taking my favorite mascara. This is Voluminous Lash Paradise. I'm going to take the Coco Lashes and the Style Goddess. These are like my favorite lashes ever. In one pair, I, I wore one pair about nine times and they were still perfectly good. Um, but because of the mascara, they started getting like super clumpy. Um, but yeah, they're a really good brand and they kind of look like the iconic lashes from House of Lashes. Um, but these are like $7.99. So they're way cheaper, way cheaper than House of Lashes. I just usually place the lash and then wait a little bit and then that's when I like press it on to my lashes. And I'm using this apply um, Japanese like lash apply thingy. Um, I it helps me so much. I really don't know how um, girls put on the lash and it's like boom with their fingers and I'm like, how do you do that? Like I can't. I mean I have pretty big hands. Um, I'm a tall girl, five nine, but I just don't. I've tried. I want to be like a like badass and be like, oh, I'm gonna put my lashes like this and like, no, no, doesn't work. I'm gonna work on my lower lash line and I'm just gonna instead of going to that first palette that I used, I'm just gonna keep using this one um, because it was a little bit blotchy. So I'm just gonna take this green right here and apply it to my lower lash line. Oh, I just broke an eyeshadow. Oh, sorry, that is a really pretty color. Um, I'm going to apply that to my lower lash line. These shadows are so pigmented. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish my face. I'm going to do a first impression. Um, I'm not sure which video is going to go up first, either this one or the first impression. But if the first impression is up already, I'm going to put a little card up here um, so you guys can like go and watch it. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish my face and I'll be right back. That is it for this makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the little button down there.